Right after this, we'll be announcing the A.R. Rahman live tickets. Namka Facebook page in the inbox, we will select the winner. We will announce the performance initiation, so be here. Hi everyone, we're from the United Party Group International. Uh, we've been around since 1979 and uh, in our dojos we teach three different martial arts. Karate, which is very common, you all know about it. Apart from that, we also teach a very old art, which is lesser known, called Kobudo, which is training with uh, classical weapons of the island of Okinawa. And also we teach a very soft art called Aikido, which many of you will be familiar with. Right, so we'll show you today uh, little bits and pieces of all three arts. Now, karate, how many of you have trained karate before here? Who's trained here before? Okay, a bunch of you, all right. So, uh, with karate, you see, what we do is, normally you'll see a lot of fancy kicks, fancy blocks, uh, kata, you all know kata? Everyone familiar with what kata is? Right, okay, cool. So, what we're going to do is show you just a couple of basic techniques, show you a kata, and show you what it means to do a kata, right? Show you the meaning behind the kata. It's not just a sequence of movements, it's not just a combination you perform to get a grading. Karate, or kobudo, the, the soul of the art lies in kata. And we'll show you now. Uh, just a few basic techniques and then a kata from karate. So upper block for attacks against the face, upper block, very common. Now, middle block. Middle block against middle level attacks, right? Uh, now, front kick. Front kick for you to attack back. Right, a few basics. You've seen all of this many, many times, I'm sure. Basic kicks and blocks. Now we'll perform for you a kata called Ananku. It's a very, very old kata. Uh, the founder of which is an old sensei from Okinawa called Chotoku Kyan. And then we'll show you what the techniques of Ananku mean. All these blocks and kicks and punches that we do, how do we put it together? Right, so kata ananku. So that's kata, that's ananku, a series of blocks and punches, etc. Now, the real meaning of a kata is not what you see, it's more what you don't see. Sensei Sunil will uh, start the kata for us again, kata ananku. Okay, this first technique, okay. What does that look like to you? It's a cat step. 
It's a cat sense. Cat sense and the technique. People have done karate. The side block. Knife block, right? Okay. So it's a block, very basic block. Now, this is how we apply it. A block, but a block with a counter attack. I will right, show you again in slow motion. When I come into attack, okay, I move forward with an attack. Sensei Sunil steps in, doesn't let me finish my attack, and does a counter along with a block. So it's a defense and attack together. Okay? Uh, so, uh, the next combination that you saw in the kata here. One, one, two. Okay. In reality, kata was meant for real life situations, not for sport, not for performance, for real life situations. So what he did just now is So I try and grab and he breaks my attempt to grab by again coming in. Right, so it's a series of counters, blocks, defenses. Now the essence of Okinawa Karate lies in the fact that we don't wait for an attack to finish. We always go in and break the attacker before they come in. Right? This is, uh, this is the uh, real art of Okinawa Karate. Uh, for people who know, who've been training, you know that nothing is applied as simply as this. There are many other more complex uh, many advanced applications but obviously we can't go into everything now just just to give you a glimpse of it now you see we're wearing different clothes Sunil Sensei is wearing white I'm wearing black black is the uniform for Kobudo the weapons are so we'll show you some weapon training now yeah Sensei Sunil has a six foot staff called the bow I will use a tanfa now you've seen this, this is now a very common weapon used in law enforcement, right? A lot of police forces around the world carry this. Originally it was meant to use in pairs. Nowadays, most cops carry it as a single weapon. Okay, so a block followed immediately by a counter strike. Now, Tanfa, because it swings, even a little swing can generate a lot of power, so that can actually crack through. Right? So, we'll show you a few techniques, then I'll explain it. Many, many different ways of applying these weapons. Uh, we have classes around, close by in Karama. For more details, come and visit us. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you so much, Team United Karate Group International. Big round of applause. All right, I'll show you.